It's a business. It's not a life-saving thing that they're into. It's strictly a business. And if you don't believe me, you just go continue to see your doctor and he's going to continue to give you drugs because they don't have any. All their, all their teaching comes from all their, I guess, I guess all the uh, pharmaceutical companies must finance all those goddamn medical schools or something because that's all they know. I don't say all of them are bad because this guy here isn't, so. He's got other books too that uh, you'll find extremely interesting. They'll be connected, one, one is connected to the other. Uh, how many suggest you get those three books? At least that, and start reading them. I didn't draw put too much on there because uh, I don't want you to get confused, but this guy tells you to stay away from certain things. You know, sucralose and all that stuff is poison, and all these reviews are all attacks your thyroid gland. There's all kinds of things that attack your thyroid gland. And uh, it's got hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. Iodine heals both of them. Sufficient iodine quantities of natural iodine to heal both of those problems if you get enough of it. But you also need vitamin C, you need zinc, you need vitamin A and E, B12. And he's got alcohol lipoic acid in here. Of course, he tells you that uh, thyroid hormone resistance. He's got all of the, the clues in here and, and uh, different kinds of diseases that are connected to. Uh, Autoimmune system, thyroid problems. He tells you about heavy metal toxicity, detoxification. I don't agree with everything he says in here, so I underline all the things that I know are right that works. But, uh, eat organic foods, he says. Trans fatty acids adversely affects immune system cells. Alters cellular membranes, causes liver problems, correlates with low birth weight in human infants, decreases HDL, good cholesterol, decreases levels of testosterone in male animals, escalates adverse effects of essential fatty acid deficiency, increases risk for coronary artery disease, increases risk for obesity, promotes insulin resistance, raises LDL, bad cholesterol. That's a trans fatty acids. He's got quite a few interesting things in here, so you should read it so you'll, you'll stay away from those goddamn trans fatty acid donuts and french fries. And he tells you about different kind of uh, hormones in here. But, but the, one of the worst things for hormone disruption is soy. He's got there the books in here that you. I'm ordering them. I'll well, probably suggest you look in there in the back. I'm going to order, uh, just order them, as a matter of fact. What were you saying was the worst for uh, hormones? So, did you say so soy? Did you say soy, soy is bad? Soy? Yeah, in, in China it's great, but here the way to prepare it, it's well. According to this guy, he's got uh, soy deception, allergies, cancer, osteoporosis, thyroid disorders. Your immune system. It does a lot of things to you. You know, like people who eat soy, they usually uh, eat that stuff that's fermented in. But uh, it's not good for men. And it's not good for a lot of other people. And some other detoxification things. He's got cilantro drops, garlic, glutamine, multiple mineral vitamin complex, selenium, vitamin C, vitamin E. Drink out of it for quantity. Adequate amounts of water. So you know, all kind of stuff that can poison your arsenic, cadmium. So you how to detoxify your body. Where are we getting arsenic from? That comes, that arsenic? Oh, well, I can get that from the bottom of our tank. You're doing good, never mind. If, you get it, if you've got gold filling through your teeth, you've got arsenic. Gold never get all the gold. First, they never get all the arsenic out of the gold. Are you talking that mercury amalgam or? Well, I know gold. Gold's gold. got arsenic in it too. 
It's natural in water, but we drink and yeah. everything else yeah. too, and it, it can build up. So. Yeah. But I got I also have a thing in here for. Uh, I gave this out to everybody else too. If anybody else wants to copy this, I can give it out right now. It's uh, for water water filters. Dude, that's, I was hoping this could talk about Kirk. Kirk filled Kirk's water filter. You've been using these for how many years? Yeah. Good for 15,000 gallons. I can't get everybody else to copy this. Anybody else want to copy this? They work. I got one at home. Both are working for 15,000 gallons before you have to change them. And all you have to do is just pour water into it and turn the spigot on. That's it. But uh, get those three books. The guy, the guy knows what he's talking about. He's, he's treated people a certain way uh, with this, with the knowledge he's given that he has, and he's cured them of their problems and uh, got them on the way to uh, see, chronic fatigue, fatigue syndrome, dysfunction syndrome. The triggers for this allergic disorder, autoimmune disorder, all the emotional distress. Nutrient deficiencies, trauma, toxic metals, got fibromyalgia in there, uh, got all kinds of stuff that are they're connected to the thyroid gland that, that disrupts the thyroid gland. As I said, that's one of the major glands you have in your body. It, it helps to sort of uh, regulate other glands in your body, gives them things they need to run, to run properly. Or not. So for crying out loud, get those three books. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know. Otherwise, I'll let this guy over here talk. He knows quite a bit. <laughs> no, I'm just here. I'm just a messenger boy. You know, I'm, I'm, that's I'm all. My hat's off to you. Yes. Well, that's all I'm trying to just, you are. All I'm trying to do is just show people what I found out. That's all. And uh, and this stuff is all natural stuff. None of this stuff can hurt you. Everything I've, I've shown you here, I've used it myself. I'm still here. If I wasn't using it, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. I used the plates. I've got one other thing. I was going to give the granny nuke or something. Which didn't show this up. is an issue that's affecting us because I, one one of my big worries right now is we think we're safe because we have the largest body of fresh water in the world, and yet right now the gov our wonderful government in their brilliance after watching Fukushima is pushing four spots. One of them being that Nipissi. One of them they, they, they want to put nuclear dump uh, sites in there. If in transport, never mind storage within the clay base, if it gets out, within our lifetime, radioactive strontium lasts 30 to 90 years and is in everything and builds up. Cesium, it's a hundred lifetimes before it all stops from becoming dangerous. That's all coming from Fukushima, all that stuff. Well, and it's it's going to be coming here. They're pushing. It is here. It is here. But they're pushing right now to, to put store nuclear, nuclear store waste nuclear waste. Oh, oh well, you got to get to fight it. You got to fight it yourself. Well, I am. But <laughs> <laughs> just make people see them to fight it. But uh, okay, I'll just do one more thing, and then uh, I was going to show people some of the things, some of the products I found that were pretty good. This one here's pretty good. This is excellent. Red beetroot powder. It's a soluble powder. Mm -hmm. I got a formula. Anybody here drink red wine? Okay, oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> I'm going to give you a formula. And yes, I call this my uh, elixir. Here. Okay. And one ounce. One ounce. <laughs> 
Get this stuff at Kelly's Nutrition. You can get it at uh, that uh, health food store over at uh, that mall over there. At the, at the, at the Centennial. Centennial Square. You get it there. Yeah. And I think you can get it at that small place in uh, Inner City too. Nutrition I think you got it there too. That's extremely good stuff. I use three, tables, three teaspoons a day. I mix a teaspoon of that stuff in that uh, asparagus stuff mm -hmm. in the morning, and I put another teaspoon in asparagus stuff at night when I drink it, and I put one teaspoon in the wine that my Tom's elixir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you use either one, one ounce of uh, bilberry juice. Red beet crystals. 